Glenn Beck absolutely lost his mind on air after Ted Cruz came out recently for Donald Trump. For the very first time, I heard Ted Cruz calculate. And uh, when that happened, the whole thing fell apart for me. Um, and it's my fault. It's my fault for believing that men can actually be George Washington. It's my fault. I should have said, you know who can win? You know who could beat Hillary Clinton? Marco Rubio. And I disagree with him on the Gang of Eight, and there's about 80% that I do agree with him on. And he's kind of a politician, but he's a different kind of politician. He's a young politician. He's a Hispanic. He can win. Let's go for it. Instead, I said, let's find a truly honorable man. And that will always let you down. Right now, we have become PETA. Shame on all of us. Why not just, if you won't vote for Hillary, or you won't vote for Trump, why not just cover me in a bucket of blood? Why not just shame me in the public square? Why not run them out of business? They're climate deniers. There is no difference between the two teams anymore. Oh, sure, one's for a little lower taxes, one's for the border, one's not. One's for international rule, one's for national rule. Which one is for the idea that all men are created equal? That all men have a right to pursue their own happiness and make their own goddamn decision? Which one? Which one? I contend neither of them. And so we will just soak each other in buckets of blood. We'll be a happy little bumper sticker community that shames one another into make sure you walk in goose step with all the other Hillary supporters or walk in goose step with all the other Trump supporters because She's going to mean the destruction of America. No, no, says the Hillary supporter. You must vote for us because he means the destruction of America. I contend they both mean the destruction of the idea. I feel like Glenn Beck, when he goes on rants like this, he thinks that he's doing this historical rant. It's so proud, future generations will look back and say, well, at least we have people like Glenn Beck who were like the new founding fathers. And it was a very touching rant. And he really is the one who cares about freedom and liberty and justice in America. That's what he thinks is happening. Like, he thinks he's getting in the history books with shit like this. But to every reasonable person, you just look like a crazy person. Because there were so many things like that was barely coherent. When Ted Cruz is like, okay, Donald Trump. He's like, oh, oh my goodness, really? I thought you said never Trump. Cruz is like, yeah, but it's going to be one of the two, so I guess Trump. Oh, you've broken my heart. My heart is now broken. All right, Glenn, stop with the fucking over-the-top drama. Like, it's so contrived. And then furthermore, I think the part of this that makes me hate Glenn Beck even more <laughs> is that like, in his mind, he's having a meltdown, and pe some idiots will say, it's righteous. No, but he's the guy who was for Ted Cruz. Ted Cruz, in my mind, is worse than Hillary Clinton, Hillary Clinton, obviously, and Donald Trump. Like, Ted Cruz, at least Donald Trump has the wild card aspect of every now and then, he's like, yeah, f fuck NAFTA, forget TPP, I'm not gonna cut your Medicare and your Medicaid and your Social Security. And every now and then he says, ah, oh, the Iraq war, terrible, disastrous, let me tell you. So, Trump is a loathsome human being, but he sprinkles that in every now and then. Ted Cruz, the everything was just, oh my god. None of the upsides of Trump, all of the downsides of Trump. So if Trump is an authoritarian, Ted Cruz is an authoritarian, you know, theocrat. So he wants to fucking implement the Bible, and he does want to cut your Social Security and your Medicare, and he does want to do more war all over the place. And so 
It's like Beck has taken a stand against these two candidates, but he wanted an even worse candidate. And Beck really said, this, that's the first time, quote, the first time I heard Ted Cruz calculate. Have you listened to him talk? <laughs> Everything Ted Cruz has ever done in his entire life has been a calculation. He is the most smarmy, smug politician I've ever seen. He is nothing but a calculating politician. And now, I guess it got to the point where even Glenn Beck had to take his blinders off and go, Oh man, it looks like you're calculating here. Because the real reason that Ted Cruz finally endorsed Trump after Trump said his dad killed JFK and his wife is ugly and Ted Cruz called Trump a sniveling coward, keep my wife out of this, yada yada. The real reason he endorsed him is the money. The donors said, dude, we're going to pull the rug out from underneath you. You're not, we're not going to fund you the next time you run for office. So endorse Trump or else. So money was on the line, donor money was on the line, and Cruz's political career was on the line. So he's like, okay, yeah, anyway, kind of Donald Trump. Yeah, totally. And it, Beck, for whatever reason, thought, oh, I can't believe you did that. Here I thought that you were totally principled. <laughs> really? You think that fucking guy is principled? <laughs> okay, and my other uh, favorite parts are, <laughs> I thought there could be a George Washington. You thought Ted Cruz was the next George Washington. Um, I'm literally at a loss for words. I don't know how to respond to that. How can anybody think that? Ted Cruz! Ted Cruz! And I, I love this because I don't get it. I'm try I was trying to think of, like, what does he mean? Buckets of blood! Buckets of blood! Buckets of blood? What are you- Soak me in a bucket of blood! Dude, what, are you, what does that mean? Buckets of blood. What? <laughs> what does that mean? That doesn't mean anything. <laughs> like, uh, like, I don't know. We're against. There's going to be a revolution. I don't, they, I don't. It's not clear. Buckets of blood. Soak me in a bucket of blood. And I'm not saying that because I'm really creepy and I get off to it. I'm saying that because it's, I'm doing a historic speech right now. No, Glenn. No, you're not. Not at all.